All right, so here's probably the biggest challenge for people when they're uh, building interactive e-learning using PowerPoint for rapid e-learning. And um, that's trying to figure out how to create uh, these uh, interactions and tr or triggers uh, using other slides. So one of the big things, and let's go ahead and look at this in a, in a different view here. Uh, one of the big things in PowerPoint is you know, by default, PowerPoint kind of works in a linear mode. So you go one, slide one, slide two, slide three. And, um, and you can add hyperlinks and stuff, but for the most part, people are used to going in a linear mode. Now, when you're using a PowerPoint to flash a rapid e-learning tool like Articulate Presenter, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to publish in a linear mode. So you're going to have a slide one, two, three, four, five, and so forth. But um, what you really need to do is not think of your slides as linear, or even really think about slide count because a lot of people will say you know my my presentations uh, or my course is a hundred slides and how do I make it fewer slides and you know slide counts really not the thing you want to look at because uh, what you want to look at is uh, each slide is a piece of information so for example uh, when we look at an office scene like this what the learner looks at is a single screen so they see this screen with the office and they click on things. Maybe they click on the text box here that goes, goes to this slide and reveals this. Or maybe they click on the person here that reveals uh, this box. So they don't see that they're jumping to different slides. All they see is that they're on a single screen and they can click things on the screen. So um, what you need to do is think of your slides as pieces of information and that you're going to control how that information is stitched together. Sometimes the information is going to be linear, so you can just publish and go from slide one to two to three. And sometimes you're going to use the information as kind of a layer, and that I have a screen here and I want to layer information. So on this particular screen, I've got two text boxes, and then I've also got two clickable characters. So and you see that here. So there's text box one, text box two, and then the clickable characters will lead uh, to these feedback boxes. So in that case it's a single screen with layers of information and what I'm doing is when I click here it's going to go to this slide and when I click here it's going to go to a different slide. So thinking of your slides as layers and here is a good example of that as well. So when the learner looks at this slide it's going to be uh, an, a question slide but the question is actually um, there's six choices and you can click on them and they jump to different slides. Now they don't see the choices as um, I'm going from this slide to slide one or this one to slide two. They just click and the information changes. To them it's a single screen. So when you build your uh, e-learning content and you want to trigger events in there uh, using the hyperlinks and linking to other pieces of information uh, that's how you would do it. So mentally, it's kind of rethinking or having a different framework when you're working in PowerPoint for e-learning. It's thinking about slides as pieces of information, and your job as the instructional designer is figuring out how to connect that. Sometimes the connection's linear, and sometimes the connections are more like layers where uh, they click on something on the screen and it just presents uh, different information. So let's look at how some of that works in the actual course. Let me go to the slideshow setup to make sure um, I've got set up and so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, look at a question slide for example because this is a good example so we'll we'll play that or actually uh, we'll look at this one because I'm out of the question slide so in this case it's a single screen now if I click on a text box uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to a different screen but that's what I'm doing and that's because I see this and the information I want to present as a layer of information based on the click. And then that's also how I trigger the animation. So I want this guy to animate when I click on him. And so when I click continue, it actually goes to another slide that triggers the animation. And so uh, thinking of them as layers really opens up the doors because uh, it's a slide and you're just triggering different effects. You can trigger different feedback. You can trigger animations. Uh, there's all sorts of things you can do and to the learner it just looks like a single slide. So think layers, not linear.